I'm James Turk. I'm a director of the Gold Money Foundation. It's my pleasure to be here in Paris this morning with Pierre Jovanovic, a leading French monetary expert and bestseller author. Pierre, I'd like to talk to you this morning about uh, John Law and the Mississippi bubble. Uh, John Law came to Paris in the early 1700s from Scotland, and he convinced the, uh, the French people um, to use paper money instead of gold and silver. I'd like to discuss the implications of what happened from that experiment. Well, uh, that was, I think, the, the key point of the, the French uh, history because John Law arrived in Paris and he convinced uh, basically not the people but the king and some people around the king. Uh, they, were, uh, they were out of money. They just ran out of money. They had like, a, if I remember well, like a three billion of uh, livres. Uh, uh, in deficit, so uh, they needed some money, and John Law um, convinced the king that there is a new form uh, uh, of um, uh, getting money, is to is issue paper money. And uh, um, that was the whole, uh, whole point which the, the German author Goethe, later on, he wrote, uh, he, he, he wrote Faust, you know, the Faust number two, uh, how the, the, the devil convinced the, the, the king to print money and the king was extremely surprised because he said how, how all my army, how all my officers are going to accept paper instead of gold coins or silver coins. This is never seen, it's, it's impossible. And um, the parallel between John Law and the, and the devil made by uh, a good uh, is extremely interesting because he, he studied the story between the two and this is how uh, the cupidity of the king and also the financial situation of France, which was desperate uh, because of all the expedition in United, uh, in what would be the United States and in uh, other country and wars from weak at all. And th th this was, you know, the financial state was uh, extremely difficult. So they decided to go on and they give uh, to, uh, to uh, like a gift to John Law. They gave him the authorization to, uh, uh, to have the lands of the Mississippi uh, uh, in the in United States. But uh, th that was something on top, if, if I may say. And this is how it started. It's again uh, the stupidity and the cupidity of people uh, running out of money and how to create money uh, out of thin air. So in effect what John Law was doing was issuing paper on the promises of riches that would eventually be brought back to France exactly. from the Mississippi territories that France controlled at that time. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, that was on top of it. Mississippi was the John Law owned company and uh, so he, he, he convinced then the people, the French people, uh, to buy the, you know, the, the actions, uh, the, shares. Uh, the shares, sorry, uh, of, of his company. But in the meantime, in the same time, sorry, um, the, the French Ministry of Finance, of Royal Finance, uh, they were just, uh, you know, printing money <laughs> somehow, uh, uh, along with the, uh, with the shares of the, the Mississippi. And this is how everybody thought they're going to be rich. Uh, it's like, it was like an internet bubble of the tulip bubble. Uh, it was exactly the same thing and people uh, became totally nuts and the key point was that John Law convinced the king to forbid uh, the French people to use uh, gold and to use uh, silver and, uh, and specifically for uh, the priest. Uh, all the priests and all the, you know, the high-level ecclesiastic people from uh, in Paris, uh, uh, he even threw one prelate from the Vatican in jail because he, <laughs> he used uh, gold uh, to pay some, some bills. If, uh, it, it was a, a, a absolutely a total new situation for everybody to see. So you gold know. and silver are always the enemy of paper money. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Th that was the fr actually... <clears throat> It was not the first time, but th that was the first time uh, that uh, th they throw in jail some very high level, like, uh, you know, like cardinals or wh whatever, who, uh, who was uh, paying uh, some people in, uh, with gold coins because it was forbidden at one point mm -hmm. to use. Uh, and John Law addicted the law, if I may say, uh, which was validated by the king. Yes. It's, it's, it's weird. I mean, if you think about it, uh, how a king can... 
fall uh, under the charm, if I may say, under uh, John Law. And this is, again, we, we should see this parallel between the Faustian contract uh, written by Goethe about the same story. I think there's a, a flaw in human nature that we're always thinking that there's a free lunch in this world. And a free lunch comes one way from printing money, but in reality there is no free lunch and printing money ultimately leads to a financial or monetary crisis, which is what happened with the Mississippi bubble.